Hey Dean. Hey, hey Madison, what are you doing? Um, I'm studying for Calc. I'm waiting for tutoring and we have a test tomorrow. Uh, isn't your teacher doing like the work to rule thing or something? What's, what's that? Work to Rule is a protest all across the district that teachers are organizing. We tried to get interviews from the teachers that are doing Work to Rule, but it was very difficult because they were not offering their time outside of their contract work day. I would say about 90 out of our 100 teachers are currently participating. There's about 5 to 10 that are not at this time. I absolutely agree that we need to be heard and that the teachers need to do something to um, voice their opinion of what's going on. Obviously we're not being bargained with and we need to show something to say that this isn't okay. And in the teaching profession we do a lot of sacrificing in terms beyond our eight hour day. We just don't work seven and a half, eight hours and go home at the end of the day. The two big sticking points that has prevented a deal would be salaries of course and another biggie, class sizes. Their previous contract expired at the end of this last August, and they have been trying to negotiate a new one. We've asked for an eight, and we've come down from our original offer, and the district is offering us a three percent. I disagree with the way that we chose to do it. I don't like that I have to close my door to my students. I love helping them. That's the whole reason I'm a teacher. My room is always full at lunch, and to have to tell people to go find somewhere else to go is hard for me. Um, but at the same time, I understand where the teachers are coming from. I just wish there was a less hurtful way to do it. To an extent, they're supportive in their understanding of what we want to accomplish, but at the same time, they're still trying to maintain the functionality of the school, too. And I think they're also, at the same time, very concerned about what's going on and how is that going to impact student learning, the operation of the community, are we going to have enough subs to go into classrooms, are we going to have su all our activities supervised, and those are major concerns that the administration does have. So we don't know how long it's going to last, but there's a meeting on December 2nd, and hopefully we can come to an agreement because we really want our teachers to start tutoring us again. Yeah, because it kind of sucks when I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Signing off for STHS News, Madison Kruby-D. Michelle and Dakota Chavez-Vilas. Bye! <laughs>